welcome back to Let's Have 59. Where am I today? Hope you're all well. Uh, here I am in Kent, and I'm at RF Manston, just outside the museum. Just done a tour inside, I couldn't do the video in there. But I'll just sort of do a quick one on this. If you're ever down in Kent near Ramsgate, it's not far from Ramsgate, but there's a fantastic museum. I'll show you around, it's just behind me now. Oh, where is it? Where are we? Where are we? I can't see it. There we are. That's uh, the Spitfire Memorial Museum over there. They've got a Spitfire and a Hurricane in there. And that's free to go in. There's a little cap at the back. That's pretty fantastic. And then opposite that is this place behind me, which is the uh, History Museum for Manston. They've got about 20 different airframes in there. <clears throat> and there lots of vehicles. There's lots of interactive stuff for kids. There's a great cafe in there. We've had some breakfast in there. It's really cheap, really good quality food. Uh, and this is the old airfield. Obviously, it's a Battle of Britain Museum. Uh, Battle of Britain airfield back in the day. In fact, it was used in World War One, and it did engage some of the early German bombers that come over, including Zeppelins. You can look it up on Google, so if you're down this way, make sure you have a look at it. It's really worth spending a bit of time and have a look around. I'm going off in a minute to another Battle of Britain um, site in Kent, Hawkinge. It's on the way to Folkestone. I'll do another short video of that place. I've not been there for a very, very long time. Uh, also across the road, I'll turn around so you can see behind me, that's the ARA RF base itself. Um, it stopped being an RF base about 99. The firefighting school stayed there, so the defence firefighters for the RF were there training. I think they might still be there in the RF police. But also inside there is an um, Army Reserve uh, company from 3 PWRR. So they're housed inside as well. The control tower's still up there. There's rumours that they might still use this place as some sort of civilian airfield. At one time it was Kent International Airport, but uh, that shut down and they was going to do all sorts of development with it. But now I think they've managed to save it and it's going to be an airfield again at some stage. So, we we'll move on now. I'll go to Hawkinge, do a short video there. Not much today, not much tabbing, just out on the ground. So, until next time, troops. Well, let's tap.